All right, guys, so as promised, today is going to be the reveal of the coffee table aquarium that I built for my Taiwan bees. So let's take a look. All right, so here is the coffee table aquarium, and it's a pretty sizable coffee table. Um, the glass measures 27 by 45 inches, and I'm not really sure what the actual stand measures. Leo, can you move? I can't deal right now. Watch out, baby. I'm like fighting Leo for space right now. Leo, can we not? Okay, go sit down, go sit down, go. Okay, sorry. So down here is the entire um, tank. I've got a 20 long in here and this is pretty much finished. I know there's a big empty spot right here and I'm planning to put down noy there, but I haven't gotten those in yet, but the tank looks good the way it is. Honestly, I've got some dwarf sag here from Han. I have a couple just all over the place. I've got all the bouquets from Jay, which look awesome on pride rock. And then I've got a mineral rock here. This is a Borneo wild brand of mineral rock and that's supposed to slowly release minerals into the water that the shrimp need to stay healthy. I've got alder cones all over the place. I've got chala wood over here in that centerpiece chala wood that's laying horizontal is growing a ton of white fungus or bacteria. But that is going to be great for my shrimp to eat. I've got some more dwarf sage. I have an HMF filter in the back and it's really I mean, it's really not that noticeable in the tank, so I really like it. It's a great filter sponge for shrimp tanks, and it ensures that baby shrimp and other shrimp don't get sucked up. And so it's running from there. That's where the air comes out, and so does the water. And let me show you guys a back view here. I've got my cat on top. He totally likes it. Hey, baby boy. Oh, Leo! That was so mean! Well, Leo's a big bully. So this is the backside of the aquarium. And this is a really nice view because the couch is right here. So if I'm laying there, it's almost eye level to the aquarium. And so I can really easily see my shrimp. And what I really like is that the dwarf sage kind of covers up all that like space this empty space on the drip or on the driftwood and it looks really nice so i've got some a clump right here i've got it along the driftwood i've got one right there and then the one in the corner so the back isn't as empty as it was without the dorsage and hopefully this thing will cycle really soon i had put eight milliliters of ammonia into the tank maybe a week and a half ago almost two weeks ago and right now it's sitting at i think four parts per million two to four parts per million ammonia and the nitrites are slowly coming up it's at like 0.5 parts per million nitrites right now and no nitrates so it's got a long way to go but i'm sure it will be cycled soon and then i'll have little shippies in it but yeah it looks pretty awesome i really like the trim here, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a nice little leaf pattern along the trim that you can't really see because it's painted black, but it's really cute. And the entire aquarium, the coffee table looks really sleek. It's really, it's got a lot of space and it's not, it's pretty sturdy. I mean, my lab has bumped into it quite a few times and it's, it's been pretty strong. So one thing that I do want to address is the wiring of the aquarium. And I only have two things that really need to be plugged in, which are the light and the filter. I don't have a heater in the tank, although I could add one, but my house is always set to 68, which is the perfect temperature. And so I don't see any reason to have to add a heater for anything. And I don't have a heater in my other tank and it's been a constant 68 to 69 degrees, depending on how much heat the lighting puts out. But down here is the cable for the Phoenix Stingray. And it comes out and it follows the trim along 
and wraps around the screw right there. So you actually don't see it from here. See? And so it wraps around and it follows this post all the way down to the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. But it follows the post all the way down to the bottom and there's a hole right there where it fits in. And the same goes for the airline. So the airline goes straight down and into that hole. And that hole feeds into the bottom, the base of the coffee table aquarium. And underneath the base, I can't show you because I don't want to lift up the glass, especially with my dogs playing. But, sorry, dog hair. Um, I've got the surge protector in here. And it's a really large surge protector. And the reason I got it is because the outlets actually turn to the side. So they're not like facing up because there's not that much room in here. So I'm able to turn the outlets to the side and plug them in that way. So I've got that surge protector here. I've got the air pump right next to it right here that's plugged in the, to the surge protector. And that entire surge protector comes out of this um, hole right here, the cable, and it runs straight across underneath the couch and into the wall. So it's a really sleek design. I really don't mind that there's just the one cable running out. It's just one cable. You're going to have to have something running out. I know some people put like a carpet over it and then um, run the cable underneath the carpet, but I didn't want to do that. And you can still probably see like the bulge of the cable coming out. So that's pretty much um, the aquarium. I really, really like the way that it turned out. I put a lot of work into it. I hand sanded everything. I cut the trims myself, or sawed the trims myself, planted everything myself, um, ordered the glass. I went all out, and I'm really glad with the way it turned out because I really have never done anything like this before. I've never built anything. I've never taken a woodwork class but it turned out really nicely and I'm really proud of myself. So if you guys have any questions at all about the coffee table aquarium, about the plants I have, about the filtration, about the lighting, please, please, please let me know. And if you guys enjoy my videos, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Did your baby brother steal your toy? Did he take it? Is he just a bully? Is he just the bully of the block? Come here, baby. All right, you can have belly rubs. Lots of the belly rubs. Look how jealous. Look how jealous. He's like, I want belly rubs, but I also want all the toys. All the toys are belongs to Leo. Okay, I don't want to.